guys, welcome back. I'm going to do a, another experiment today. Just need some cups. Got my cups. Three fifth cup. So, if you watched the other videos, I did two to one, one to one, and now I'm doing three to one. Three parts flow troll, two, one part global paint. So, third one today. I've gone through a lot of paint. <gasps> Never mind. I'm experimenting. So, the paint is a bit thinner. I'm using the treadmill silicone and I'm only, I've got 200 grams of paint in here, mixed paint. One, two, three, four, five. Normally I'd put seven in, um, but I'm just going to see if I, what happens if I cut back a little bit because I don't want a massive cells like normal, like I normally get. I'm going to try a little bit less. A couple of little stirs and that's it. Okay, now this is the navy going in. And then the aqua. I'm just pouring it all in. It's a bit thin to be layering, so just pouring it all in. And then the cool blue. Reacting nicely in the cup. Bit of cobalt. So with the other video that I did today, I did a two to one mix, two flow troll to one paint, and then I added some isopropyl, some alcohol. Um, worked okay, wasn't 100% happy with it. And then I thought, well, I'll do a thicker mix. So I did one part flow troll to one part paint, and it was just too thick. The paint. As I, as I tilted, the paint sort of stretched out of shape and it became sort of wobbly at the sides. Hard to explain, but it, it just wasn't good. And I've had that before, and if I use a lot of glue in a mix, I get that as well. It's just too thick. So, back to my old favourite of three to one. I don't know why I experiment, I should just stick to what I know. I think the thing is you see people, other people doing things a certain way but your paint brand is different and different paints have different consistencies and they just don't work the same way so once you find something that works for you just stick to it. Get all this out of the way. I did make up an extra cup of white paint just to fill in the gaps if I have any gaps that I can't fill in and corners so I've got the extra white there and I'm just going to pop a bit on the corners because the corners always get missed and then I can use this for little bits in the middle as well so I'm going to pull back and drag the paint down I do have some padding underneath this canvas so that it doesn't all drip into the or sag into the middle. Try not to let your drips go back into the center. Bring them down the side here if you've got extra paint. Don't drip it into the middle because it will spoil the nice design that you've made. A little bit of extra white. Why not? A little bit of white up here as well. Now I'm not going to torch because we've got lots of cells already popping up. And I just want to spread these 
want to tilt really as fast as I can really because with a thin mix like this the longer you take the more they stretch out of shape so try a thicker a, a faster tilt and see if that helps over your sides and back, turn that around, okay, so that's what happens if you tilt pretty fast and I find that when I'm doing a thinner mix like this I'm just gonna get rid of some of that a thinner mix like this you really do need to well I do anyway I need to tilt fast get it moving otherwise I just overstretch everything all right I'm gonna leave that there a little bit. Because I've gone so I've tilted so quickly, all the silicon hasn't come to the surface yet, so I should still get some cells popping up. As you can see popping up here. too close to the canvas you don't want to burn your paint and you don't want to melt it or it will go out of shape if you melt it just keep the torch going round and round this end here where it hasn't been tilted as much I don't need any more cells there's plenty there do your sides as well reason why you can't have cells over the sides. Not real keen about that blue stripe through the middle there but can't be helped. Nice cells popping up here. So we've got a range of bigger cells, smaller cells. And over the next 10 minutes or so, it will change. We will get more cells coming up. So there you go. Thinner mix, three parts flow troll, one part paint. Tilted quickly. Now I'll do another one next time. Not today, I've done three today. That's quite enough. I'll do the same mix, three to one, but I'll tilt slowly um, and just see if that makes a difference these are the cells I'm wanting, these little ones here, which are nicely shaped, but bigger, as opposed to these big ones that get out of shape because your mix is too thin. So, but anyway, that's an, I think that's okay. It's, it's a nice combination of both cells. And we've got some aqua, we've got some navy, we've got some white, dark blue. It's all showing through, which is quite pretty. Okay, that's it for me. I'll see you next time. Bye for now.